Pure Substances Objectives Define pure substances Distinguish between elements and compounds Use symbols to represent elements and compounds Identify elements that exist as diatomic molecules and draw particle diagrams of elements and compounds. How can we classify matter? Matter can be classified into pure substances and mixtures. Pure substances composed of elements and compounds, while mixtures are made up of homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. What are pure substances? A pure substance is matter that has a fixed or constant composition throughout. There are two types of pure substances, elements and compounds. What are elements? Elements are the simplest type of a pure substance, composed of only one type of material. Example, aluminum. Elements are composed of atoms, which are extremely tiny particles. All the atoms of a particular element have the same number of protons present in its nucleus. For example, carbon. Each carbon atom has six protons present in its nucleus. Elements cannot be separated into simpler substances by physical or chemical means. How can you represent elements? Elements are symbolically represented by letters. They are one or two letter abbreviations for their names. For example, C for carbon or Mg for magnesium. However, a few symbols are based on old names. For example, potassium is represented by K for kalium. Common misconception. Students often write both the first and second letter in uppercase. For example, chlorine is written as uppercase C and uppercase L, when it should be written as uppercase C and lowercase L. What are diatomic elements? Monatomic elements exist as individual atoms, for example, neon. A molecule is a substance that usually consists of two or more atoms combined in definite ratio. If an element exists as a molecule, the molecule usually contains only one type of atom. Diatomic elements are pairs of atoms of the same element bonded together, for example, nitrogen. The subscript in the lower right of the symbol N indicates that there are two nitrogen atoms in the molecule. What are the seven diatomic elements? The seven diatomic elements are hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine, and they are found in the periodic table. Nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine forms the outline of the number seven. Elements with more than one form. An allotrope is one of a number of different molecular forms of an element. The properties of allotropes can vary widely. For example, oxygen, O2, is colorless, odorless, and essential to most forms of life, while ozone, O3, is pale blue with a sharp odor and is toxic. What are compounds? Compounds are composed of two or more elements that are chemically combined in a fixed ratio. For example, carbon monoxide. The atoms in a compound are held together by attractions called bonds. The properties of compounds are different from the elements they are composed of. Compounds can be broken down by chemical processes into their elements. For example, water can be decomposed into hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. Compounds cannot be broken down through physical methods such as boiling. How can you represent compounds? Compounds are symbolically represented by formulas, containing the letters of the elements that make up that compound. For example, water, H2O, is composed of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen, while Sodium chloride is made up of a sodium atom, Na, and a chloride, a chlorine atom, Cl. Subscripts are placed on the lower right of the element's symbol 
to show the number of atoms of each element present in a molecule or compound. How can we draw particle diagrams of elements and compounds? Particle diagrams of elements can be drawn showing monatomic elements or diatomic elements. Particle diagram of compounds can be shown by combining different atoms together in different combinations. For example, in compound A, there is one clear element and there are atoms of a dark element combined together. While in compound B, there are two dark element atoms while one clear.